called as self retaining foliage double lumen self retaining catheter the uses of these catheter is mainly for continuous drainage of urine during various surgical procedures the commonly done procedures like cesarean operation whenever the woman is on magnesium sulfate because urine output has to be monitored it has to be 30 ml per hour or 100 ml in 4 hours following cesarean hysterectomy pelvic surgeries all kinds of open and laparoscopic surgeries postpartum retention of urine bladder repair and when there is a paraurethral tear vaginoplasty women who is in shock either hemorrhagic or septic shock or is also put with this uh, catheter is in place so we have various sizes right, right, uh, the smallest being 12 and 14 which is preferred in the female here it is 16 but larger size like 22 and 24 french is preferred for control of atonic pph so when they ask you the other uses of this catheter the most common indication would be to control atonic pph so a positive tamponade test is another question that is asked whenever there is an atonic pph and you you attach a condom in the front introduce in the uterine cavity and distend it with 300 to 500 ml of warm saline and the bleeding gets stopped it's it indicates it's a positive tamponade test the test becomes negative only in cases of traumatic pph another clinical differentiation between an atonic and a traumatic pph is in atonic the uterus is very flabby with active bleeding in traumatic pph uterus is well contracted and retracted despite that there will be a trickle of bleeding and the tamponade test is usually negative in traumatic pph so this is a very useful tamponade condom can tamponade the success rate following vaginal delivery is said to be 88% and 75% in cesarean following the cesarean delivery so each one of us should know how to use this when there is an atonic pph another commonly asked question is what is emotive e stands for early response m stand for massage of the fundus of the uterus o stands for oxytocin t stands for tranexamic acid iv for iv fluids and e stands for evaluation and escalating the treatment when the tamponade fails so emotive is something is commonly asked in the exam and another thing is when do you keep this catheter for a prolonged time so the answer would be repair of the bladder injuries for 7 to 10 days following vvf that is vesico vaginal fistula repair following an obstructed labor if you have operated postpartum urinary retention unconscious mother woman in shock and following a radical hysterectomy so there it is kept for a longer time and this is disposable and you'll have to change the catheter once in at least 7 days to prevent catheter induced infections so a little about how to insert the catheter so for the insertion of the catheter hand wash wearing a sterile glove and three swabs to be taken one swab to clean the right labia minoria now don't take the betadine swab with your hand and then pick up and clean use a sponge holder to clean the right labia from above downwards one stroke left labia minora the second swab from above downward then separate the labia minora and in between you take the swab on the sponge holder and then clean in between from above downward for few seconds just keep the swab on the urethral orifice then go above downward single stroke so three swabs right labia minora left labia minora and one in the center lubricate the tip of the catheter with xylocaine and then insert for a distance of not more than 2 inches and distension is done with not with normal saline why because it can cause crystallization and there can be difficulty on removal of the catheter use only sterile distilled water 10 cc 5 to 10 cc can be instilled thank you